guys, what's up, and welcome back to another episode of Danny Plays, welcome back to Deep, the series where I live in a cave and never leave. Don't know why I did that to myself, but I did. Also, pretty sure that I named this guy Gary, but I'm not sure. Yeah, these things are best. Anyway, uh, what was I thinking, what was I thinking, what was I thinking? Uh, oh yes, okay, so... I'm going to be kind of honest, actually completely honest, I don't remember what I was doing last episode, I do know that I got some books, and I know that I mined out the cave a little bit, and uh, yeah, I've gone the wrong way, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory, so, you know, in this episode, the last two have been kind of similar, I'm going to try and do a little bit of a different format, you know, like a little... A, a little, like, uh, time-lapse at the beginning with me gathering everything I need for what I've got planned in this episode. Let me explain what I've got planned in this episode. But, in order to do that, I should probably come over here. So, first of all, I'm going to get the rest of these, but I'm going to do that off-camera. Uh, that, or maybe a little bit on the time-lapse, but probably not. Because, let me just quickly put something in here. This is my test and sword. You see 20, and we need to get that up to level 30 in chance. Which reminds me, I need to find a spawner. Uh, so that I can get a pretty good XP grinder. Something else. I want to do something with this cave up here, but I'm not sure what yet. But anyway, uh, I'm still going to clear this diorite out. Make more room. And I'm going to gather leaves, because I want to do some foliage down here. Because in this episode, what we're going to be doing is, uh, mostly off camera, we're going to finish this. We are going to finally start actually designing this cave. Like, you know, start doing stuff like this all over. And there was something else, but I can't remember quite what it was. So, you know, we'll get to that later. Um, anyway, I should probably go to sleep. And I still don't actually know if this guy's name is Gary or not. But, we'll, we'll just say it is. So, I guess it's time lapse time. And, uh, oh, no, 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 stay, stay away. Okay, uh, I'll be right back once we're done with the time lapse. Oh, yeah, get diamonds. That, that was the other thing. Let's go. keeps happening to my axolotls, but I keep going away for a little bit, and when I come out back, they're gone, so Gary and Wendy are both gone now. No, I called it Destiny. That's what I called the second one, but it was whatever. But, it's gone, so not, not meant to be. Um, I don't know why I decided to do this, I just wanted to point out that my axolotl has disappeared once again. And it's not despawning, because once you put it in a bucket, it physically can't despawn. So I don't know what's happening to it. My theory is that they're being dumb, falling down in the cow pen, getting stranded in the cow pen, and dying because they can't get any water. Although I suppose they could also be, like, swimming up and then dropping themselves. They don't drop anything, so it's impossible to know. And... 
Yeah, I need to make myself a new pickaxe. So, I guess once the time lapse is over, I'll tell you what we're doing next. Okay, guys, what's up? Uh, I've done a lot of work, not so much over here, but I've taken out all the dye right here and, like, pretty much most of it there. So, also, I've got a few more bookshelves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this look better, I swear I will. But, I got a really good pickaxe, and I think I only need one more bookshelf for this to be maxed out. So, uh, we'll probably get that by the end. But that's not my goal for this episode. Because, this, this episode is really late. Like, really late. So it might be a bit of a shorter one, and seeing as I'm probably only gonna have to kill one more of these cows, I'll do that later. But I wanted to show you, you guys, what I have planned for the rest of this video, basically. In order to do that, let me grab some oak leaves. The thing will break pretty soon, so there we go. And I'm going to come in, I'm actually going to do the stonework first, so stuff like, I don't need the diorite or the granite, I don't need that for now, I don't need that for now, I don't need that. I should put a crafting table over there, so I will. Um, but let me also go make a few more things so some of these some of these a few more of these a few more of these hopefully that'll do for the first part because what my idea is and i also did this path a little bit but i'm gonna also work on oh hello I guess I haven't done as good of lighting up job as I thought I had. Oh, they're all coming through there. I don't know what's not lit up over there. Oh, they're coming from the tunnel above. Okay. But my idea essentially is let's get up there using some gravel. Oh, shoot. Okay. Good, I can't pick up this die, right? Um, let's just do that for now. Okay, let's take some of this. And I kind of want to just, you know, rough this up a bit. So let's sploop. I wanted to go over all of this with, like, a layer of other stuff so that the diorite would be covered up because it's ugly unless you know how to use it and I am not one of the people that knows how to effectively use diorite and not make it look horrible. I I've used it before in my builds. In fact, the first multiplayer world I did on this channel, I used it. But that was not a very well viewed series. And it didn't look that good anyway. See, now that... Oh! Dang it, I always do that. Luckily, I won't be coming up here too much. I thought about putting a waterfall out of here. And that might actually still be a good idea. But I have another place in mind that I could do that. Now, I don't want things coming through here all the time. So let's, you know patch this up and now I just need to do a little bit of detailing so stuff like that and that and that and that and that and then I can just kind of you know take some other stuff mix that in as well but like let's do some of this 
bring in some stone into the play. And then, like... Something like so. And since I don't have much black, I'm going to have to kind of incorporate that around like so. Maybe have some over here. And then we just kind of have to, you know, I've done this multiple times on the channel already, just kind of rough things up. And now we have this. But this isn't all I wanted to do. What I want to do is I want to take... I want to make this look like it's some sort of lush cave. So let's get rid of that torch and I can put that like here. And let's have these leaves spilling out of the cave. Kind of like... This, I'd imagine. something along these lines, you know, have them kind of pouring out, and then, ah, I need to get efficiency on my shelf. Let's come up here, because we can't really see the leaves so much, and we need to be able to see those, so let's have these kind of coming up like, So, and I, I really want this to kind of give off a overgrown cave vibe. So we're going to have, I guess, some coming off the roof to make it look like these are kind of growing in from another section of the cave. So something kind of... all like messed up. I don't want it to look symmetrical in any way because symmetrical isn't what leaves look like. So let's see how that looks. See, that's good. I like having this kind of waterfall effect of leaves. But that's not all we want to do. I want to have it come around and kind of wrap around here. And I want it to be coming out of this cave as well. And we have different leaves, you know? Well, like the same leaves, but. Uh, I wish I had more shears because now all my. I, pretty much wherever I place this is permanent for now. Or I just lose whatever I don't like. Okay, let's light this up. <gasps> Grass! Come on, seeds, 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 seeds. Dang it. Anyway, we now want to kind of have this having the same effect as the other one, where it's just kind of filled to the brim with leaves. So that when we look at it from out here, we've got this interconnected vine. Oh, wait, I don't want that there. And then we can also have the vines kind of come off this way. And like, 
have them come over here maybe a little. Some something like this. And we can change up the leaves a bit. And bam, we've, we're starting to get that overgrown cave look. We're not quite there yet. But we're getting there. And I, I need to go get more stones so that I can finish off these. And I think once I finish off this little cave back here, which I am, I'm going to have a waterfall uh, back here that maybe spills out. Really going... I know there's like the whole lush cave thing that's happening, but... That, that lush cave, <laughs> that that's pretty much as descriptive as I'm going to, that, that's like the perfect definition of what I'm going for. And we don't have the lush cave biome yet, so I'm making it myself. Um, so yeah, let's go get all that stone that we need. Oh, that tree looks ugly. I'll take that down off camera. But let's get... Seriously, stay out of my farm. I'm I'm not convinced you're not what's killing my pets. I'm making an axolotl cave next, so that well, next time I get an axolotl, that way they don't die instantly. And I'm gonna name it just to be safe, because even though the bucket should keep them alive and uh, away from despawn nation, um, it doesn't seem to be doing that. So. That's not great. Let's take some of it. Let's get rid of that and that. And let's grab some of this and this. And you know, slime balls, bones. This still haven't placed this crafting table down. Uh, let's get a few of these, a few of these. Maybe some of these, a few of these. And we're all set to go finish off that. And I think that this will get us right around to the right time that I want this video length to be. And yeah, there's probably not going to be much editing because I, I just ran out of time. Here we go. Okay. So we got some like this. Then we take... Let's do... Let's actually throw in some of this stuff because, you know, I haven't used much of it yet. And I want this cave to feel connected and all. Um, and we have that going like so. And the rest can be like this with a few of these. Like if we did that and then bam. Okay. Now that doesn't need to be there. We got to kind of do a bit of just the smallest amount of detailing possible. Just throw in a few... Oh, I didn't want that like that. A few things like that. Uh, we do something like this. Something along the lines of 
this kind of have some tough here I know I don't really explain what I'm doing I, I know it's a problem and it's one I'll work on but I, even after the I'm only just getting into the like tutorial and time-lapse stuff like for the most part my channel has been series like this and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be saying when it comes to tutorial stuff. Anyway, yeah, this cave still needs a bit of detail everywhere, <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's better than it was before, and we've got the whole lush cave look thing going. Which I, I really like. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ow.